Hi everybody, it's Matthew here from Bead Spider. How are we all doing today? I've got my funky Halloween hat and I'm ready for some beading. How about you guys? Um, I am up for a little bit of beady fun with, with Halloween just around the corner. And so we're doing a fun little tutorial today where we will be showing you how to make lots of fun little uh, brick stitch patterns and all sorts of good fun things that you can do with brick stitch. Now we do have at the minute a fantastic little uh, bargain deal essentially where you can get everything that I'm going to be demonstrating with today. I've got my fun hat which I hope you you enjoy and you like. I'm not going to wear that for too long just for the first minute or so. We saw it in a charity shop and we thought it was a fun prop to, to use that we can be Halloween-y. Um, <coughs> Let's see, lots of people are jumping on already and commenting. Lots of fun is going on. Uh, great, everybody's on and dusted. I'm uh, uh, We had a bit of technical issue issues beforehand, but I think everything is should be all working fine and dandy just now. We got lots of people joining on already. Uh, Colleen's here, Ruti in Jerusalem. Uh, Kimberly is on as well, my cousin. She's watching. Uh, thanks for watching, Kim. Uh, lovely to see that you're here too. Um, Colleen Cruz, we've got Jasmina as from Slovenia. Is she, are you new by the way? Jasmina, I haven't seen you before. Um, something really fun as well that I have been able to do now um, is check this out. I think you're going to like this. We've got another lady who's new, I think, uh, Elizabeth South. She says, ready, wait for this. This is fun. Hi, y'all. Um, I'm from, I'm from Alabama, USA. Very, very excited to learn these patterns in time for Halloween. Love the big Frankie. Hey, Matthew and everyone. How cool is that, that I can just show that there on the screen. So that's our YouTube comments. I can't do it with Facebook yet, but if you want to comment over on YouTube, I can pop you on the screen and try and show your little comments off to everybody. Um, you know, as they come through to me, I can I can pop them there on the screen for for everyone to see as well. So that's a little bit of fun that I can do uh, with everybody's um, little comments as they come through. Let me just uh, I've just lost myself for a second. One second. Here we go. There we go. I lost my Facebook comments for a second. But yes, now I can see everybody's comments all coming through. For example, we've got Martine here. She says, hi, Matthew, uh, and lots of fun emojis. So like I said, if you want to be on the show, I suppose, like this as your comment, just, just down here, um, jump over to the YouTube stream so that I can show you on there. Uh, but yes, as I said, today, um, I'm going to be doing all sorts of fun with Halloween. I've got my cup of tea with the Matthew mug at the ready. Um, have a nice big sip, get myself calm and ready. I've been a little bit excited for today because these these sorts of fun, they, they, these sorts of designs, they're so much fun to make. I'm really looking forward to um, to sort of, sort of showing you everything. But yeah, we've got a little pattern pack that we've made of six, no, 28, I almost said 16, 28 patterns for Halloween that we've got <coughs> um, <coughs> ready and waiting to go. Lots uh, of things to learn and play with uh, that you that you can go. But essentially what we do, we have, wait, I'll just pop the screen over um, if I, oh, my, yes, my camera is working, but for some reason my zoom isn't working. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to have a look. Uh, I can't quite zoom properly, but hopefully I'll be able to fix that in just a minute so that I can zoom in and check that everything's working. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but yes, let's get, oh, I, sh I might as well put myself in the picture as well. Uh, let me just give me a second. I've just got to find my face again. One second. Uh, so uh, where's my face? Here we go. There we are. Sorry about that. I'm uh, just trying to get myself all fixed and happening. The the I'm trying to figure out this this little zoom. It doesn't want to click so that I can manually uh, sort my zoom. Just give me 
one second. I'll pop it onto my face just for one minute more while I fix that little camera. Uh, hopefully everything should be going all smoothly very, very soon. Uh, yes, all fixed now. Great. Um, so lots of people are joining. Steph C says hello from Australia. We've got... Uh, is that a is that a comedy Stephanie per chance? I wonder one of my cousins lots and lots of family members on today Don't forget to like and share everyone by the way um, That is the best way to be on the show is to like share do all of those sorts of things so that you can be part of the show um, <coughs> So yes, let's get started shall we? Uh, Right, there we go. So, I'm up here in the corner. Uh, hopefully everything should be working all fine and dandy now, but uh, let's just see what we're doing. I'll see if I can get those Facebook comments showing as well. Where are we now? Oh no, I can't do that. Um, hopefully this will work. Um, yeah, we've got lots and lots of people going. So yes, like I said, we've got all sorts of things that you can make. There's 28 patterns in total. Uh, that you will be able to learn and make and create. Uh, this one is little Leo the monster, which oh, I wish I'd thought about it. I had a photo. It's a design of one of my little nephew's t-shirts. He had a funny little monster like this one just here. Uh, that's another design. Um, this is something that's quite fun as well, if I could find it. Um, ready for this? Let's just pop that over on the screen. Uh, we've also got a little pumpkin, which I said would make for a really good, hopefully I'm not too muffled while I'm wearing this, a really fun little um, ornament to add to your, your face masks. If you're wearing a face mask, I've just made a little brooch and there's the pumpkin there as well. So that's another one of these patterns. Um, there's quite a few really interesting, fun little patterns that we're going to be able to make from that little bundle. Uh, but today, as promised, I'm gonna be making my little friend here Skeletoni, this guy just here. So this is um, <coughs> what I will be making. Um, for example, Kay just here, she says, those are adorable. I'm glad you like those, Kay. I like them as well. Um, so here we go. We have Skeletoni. This is the little fella that I'm going to be making for you guys today. So essentially, the way that we'll be making these one, uh, all of these different designs, is if we um, open up in uh, our little brick stitch pattern. So I'll just show you, we're making everything is in brick stitch. Uh, I've just got to find where I've put my little picture. Uh, here it is. So I'm going to be making Tony. I'll show you how all of our brick stitch patterns look. So if I just pop this on the screen there, it shows you, see how there's that line in the middle. Essentially, you always work uh, sort of so it's sort of the opposite way that you work in peyote so if you have a look at like a for example wait i'll show you on my little frank pattern just here real quickly so if you have a look so the way that a peyote pattern so see how that looks very very similar to a peyote pattern when you're working in peyote you'd be working back and forth back and forth back and forth like this in brick stitch it's kind of the opposite so we're working this way going rows back and forth like this, um, each each direction. So if I show you my little pattern again, we're gonna start, see where it says start here, the big red arrow, that's the very first row that we're gonna do. Then we have a little green arrow uh, that will that sort of shows us the direction that we start working at the beginning. And then our little blue arrow, again on the left, that's what we will be using with our tail thread. So essentially for Skeletoni, you probably need about a meter and a half, maybe two meters um, in total just there uh, of your beading thread. Um, so again, as always, I'm going to be using the Spidalon beading thread. I'm working in brick stitch as always um, <coughs> uh, for, for these little designs because I think it's the, the best sort of design for it. 
Um, but before I begin, I'll just tell you about what you would actually be getting with our little bundle. I'll just zoom out a little teeny weeny bit further so we can see exactly what we're doing. Like you can see, I've, uh, I've done some new and improved things with our stream. That's why I'm, it's a little bit more technical difficulties than, than usual, because today on the stream, uh, we've, we should be shooting in high definition. If you're in YouTube, 1080p, Facebook don't let us go in the higher definition but um, on YouTube it's in high definition 1080p if you want to be watching there plus I'm able to show you comments I guess so that's why we're having a bit of technical troubles just as I'm sort of learning the process but anyway the little bundle like I said um, uh, Penny Roberts I was watching on YouTube but it still isn't live on there let me have a look at that uh, it should be, yes, it should be live. Oh, it's just a little bit delayed, I think. YouTube's a little bit further delayed at the minute. I forgot a little setting. But anyway, um, yeah, so let's just pop back my Facebook comments. Um, yeah, lots and lots is going on today, which is, is good fun indeed. I'm, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to doing this. But yes, so in our little pattern, as I've said, we have um, got our, wait a minute. Uh, oh, I've just pressed the wrong button. How silly of me. Um, yes, our little pattern is going to be using our, uh, the bundle that we, we have with this particular kit. You get six different colors of your seed beads. So you get yellow, you get red, you get orange, you've got green, plus you've got some black and you've got white. Obviously, you get more than just these little bits. These are the, just the, the little leftovers from what I've been using to make with. So that's why these look like there's not that much in them. But obviously, you get, you get I think it's just short of, no, about 5,700 little beads um, that you will get uh, included with your bundle. Um, as I said, there are 28 little patterns. So there's pumpkins, ghosts, witches, all sorts of different things inside of there. You do also get lots and lots of findings as well. I'll just pop these aside because I'm going to need my black and white in a bit. You've got findings to make little necklaces. Like, for example, if I just show you on the screen up here. Here we go. Uh, we've got little findings to make like this little vampire mouth as well. Plus we've got the, the findings to turn it into a really fun necklace with a really easy to use clasp as well, which uh, I just realized I'm a bit out of focus, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of fun that we will be doing today. You've got findings for making earrings as well, which Tony can make a fun little earring if we wanted it to. Um, what else have we got there? We've got, um, brooch backs like i said with the back of our pumpkin uh we've got our little brooch piece there as well so lots uh there you can see there's findings for making your little pumpkin as well um earrings bracelets necklaces all sorts of different things you'll be able to make with that one little bundle so uh let's get into our little tutorial as promised um Alison is saying, I'm loving this. Uh, let's just zoom in a teeny weeny bit so we can really see what I'm going to be doing. And let's get started with the, the brick stitch. Um, I think I need to have a nice little cup of tea at the minute. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Nice cup of tea. And let's get making on our little Tony fellow just here. So I'm going to just pour myself out some white Delica beads plus some black Delica beads. Oh, do you know what I completely forgot to mention? Oh gosh, what a fool I am. Um, so the, the, the another fantastic thing about this particular little thing that we're, that we're doing this week, the, the, the beaded charms set. So this is the sorts of things that you'll be able to make in the, in the set. Um, oops, wrong button. Here we go. Uh, hopefully that should be showing me the next picture. No, doesn't want to work, I don't think. Um, wait a minute, I might... Uh, a few things have been changed and I'm having a bit of trouble with them, aren't I? Uh, but yes, if we have a little look, um, let's just remove this. There you go. So there's your, your little Frankenstein 
but also included as part of our little free gift offer. There's that little um, monster as well. Included as part of your little free gift offer, we are also giving you these little Halloween pen wrap patterns and a beaded pen as well. So all of that is included. That's what the free gift is that's included with today's um, little bundle. So if you want to get the bundle, you'll get all those beads, all those findings as well. And then of course, you'll also get the pen wrap patterns, which there's three different patterns, and we include the little pen. The pen that I'm going to be using is the, the G2, it's called. It's a Pilot G2 pen. The reason they're so fantastic, these little pens, is because when you unscrew, it unscrews just below where this little piece just here is. And so you can change very, very easily your pen wrap. See, look, there's the, the slime pen wrap that I've made. I'll just slide that on over the top of my little pen piece just here. So this is the free gift that you will get if you buy the bundle. You get so, so much. In fact, I might as well show you on the website all the different things that you're going to get with it because there is so much. So if I just take a little look at the pattern on the website, here we go, there we are. So let's just fade that over. Here on the website, if you come to our website, it's right there. There's a link up in the description that will show you where all of this is. Um, if you just scroll down on this page, it shows you all the different things that are included. So the super bundle includes, you've got your red, your orange, your yellow, your green, your black, and your white Mayuki Delicas. So around about 5,700 beads. You've got the brick stitch charm findings bundle. So ear wires, brooches, you've got the silver ball chain, you've got side collots, you've got jump rings as well in there, plus the little ball clasps, uh, ball chain clasps, which I just realized aren't even written on there. Oh no, they are, they are. Um, plus then you've got our included patterns, the 26 Halloween themed brick stitch patterns. You get our complete guide to brick stitch pattern booklet, which is fantastic because it covers the entire process from beginning to end. And you've got the findings bundle instructions to show you how to use all of those different findings. You've got the spider on thread, and then there you can see at the bottom, your bonus free gift, we give you a pen, and you get the three pen wrap patterns included as well. So much stuff to cover today. It's, a, it's taking me a long time to get into the, uh, the, the, the tutorial today, just because of how many good things that we have to show. Uh, so let's have a look. Lots and lots of people commenting over on Facebook and YouTube. Definitely get those comments coming in. Um, jump over on YouTube if you want to have a look, uh, uh, if you want to get your comments shown, because just like, where was it? I just had a comment. I was just about to show one. Now it's disappeared. Oh, that makes me sad. Um, there was, wait for it. Uh, must have disappeared on me. Oh well. Ah, oh, here we go. Anastasia said, that is a big cup. Yes, it is. Uh, and I had a lovely big gulp of it and it was delicious. Uh, but yeah, so thanks Anastasia for, for commenting in. Don't forget, if you want to be uh, have your comment shown, um, comment over on YouTube so I can I can sort of show those sorts of things. I'll do that sort of midstream now and again um, if, I, if I can do that. Um, Right, let's get on with the, the demonstration. Finally, finally. I know you're all excited and been waiting for it, but there's, a, there's a, I mean, there's so much to have told you about that it's difficult to get it all out, I suppose. So, first things first, we need about a meter of thread, uh, maybe a meter and a half, sorry, of, of thread. Um, hi to Denise from Florida, by the way. Um, Lucy asks, how long is this offer on for for the kit. So it's going to be on for about a week, but if you're in the US or Canada or wherever, um, make sure you get in quick so that it'll arrive in time. By the way, I should mention if you are going to be getting the pattern pack, it's not quite ready yet. So you can buy the pattern pack and then we're going to email it when it's all ready and everything's ready because it's not quite ready yet. We've, we've, we're still doing the layout. So it's, it's it's a little bit easier on your printer. Um, it won't be so many pages um, so that when you go to print it, it's not going to be, you know, ridiculous for for you. So anyway, <coughs> with my with my little Skeletoni pen, I'll just show you the instruction nice and big to start with. What I'm going to do is pick up 
two little beads and uh, start start stitching them together. So I'll go through them once, through them twice, and then through them once more just to sort of join them together in that sort of additional row of what's called ladder stitch to create the base of our brick stitch. Um, my sister's on, by the way, uh, the design, which is her little son's monster. She says, yeah, I'm loving that little monster. Well, that's the, the, the monster. It was her son's um, little T-shirt, my, my nephew Leonardo. That's why the monster's called Leo. It's his shirt that, we're, that we've taken inspiration from on uh, that little, uh, little monster, which is this fella just here. But yeah, she's clearly like Tim as well. I've changed the pattern slightly. He looks like his mouth's a bit big because I, I made a couple of mistakes, but uh, his mouth's a little bit smaller. So he's a really cute little fella. But anyway, let's get on with it. What I'm going to do, let's zoom in a bit closer, shall we? There we go. So I've got my two beads just here. Um, slide that on down. And as I said, what I'm going to do is go through just that first little bead once more, pull it nice and tight. Um, whoops, where am I? There we go. And then as you can see, they come together. Whoops, where am I? There I am. Really nice and tightly like that, perfectly. Um, Dora says, Matthew, I managed to get you live. I always seem to miss you, but here's a big wave. And well, I'll give you a big wave too, Doris. Uh, I know you're watching. Uh, Big wave for Doris. So thanks for watching, Doris. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. So many people are joining in today. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So I've made my little, because I'm making Skeletoni, uh, where have I put his little picture? Uh, here it is. So just real quick, there's the picture. See where I'm starting? I need to just do a whole row of little white beads, which if we count them, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 white ones, one black one, and then three white ones, which essentially is that central row, which if we have a look at the actual Tony in real life, I'll just show you. I'm starting just here in the middle of his pelvis, and I'm going to go all the way up his center to this little end just here. So as we stitch them along, creating that first row. Hi, Linda, by the way, just joined us. Um, thanks for watching. Um, <coughs> uh, so let's go and start adding more beads. So if I show you the instruction, nice and big, here it is. So I've done this little first step. What I need to do next is pick up one little bead, thread through that next um, little bead in the row and then sort of just continue along. So let's just get myself nicely into position. Uh, where am I? Oh, nearly left myself on screen. So I'll go through that bead once more, pull it nice and tight. There we go. We need to leave ourselves a tail that's quite large, by the way, um, just so that we don't accidentally um, sort of give ourselves uh, we need to have enough thread so that we can we can make the the other half of our body So that's that's why we leave quite a big tail thread Maybe I'm a bit too zoomed in it doesn't quite want to hold focus for me But anyway, so first things first we pick up one more bead and then get it to sit nicely side by side if I can pull them both There we go. Sorry a bit out of screen Maybe I won't go quite as tight so that we don't have these focusing issues. I'll get these beads out of the way as well there we go. Is that going to focus now? There we go. So now that I've got my, my little working thread just here, I picked up one little Delica bead um, and go through this little end one here, around in a circle, and pull that nice and tight. Uh, K. Here we go. This is this is this is see. This is why I want to be able to show the comments. K says. Um, I'm sorry, what size beads are you using? I was making my tea and I missed it. I'm using size 11 Delicas. Um, so that's a great question there. If you're over on uh, Facebook, you'll be able to see that one. Um, so thanks Kay for putting that one up. That's a little question. They're size 11 Delicas. Uh, morning to Barbara, by the way, she's just joined us. Um, so now that I've added the extra bead, I'll go through there, pull that nice and tight and there we go. We're starting to create our little first row of Tony's middle. Um, 
there we go so through there pick up one more bead and we'll just keep adding our little beads one by one by one just like that um, as we go through so <coughs> that we're adding our beads whoops almost forgot so you pick up one bead you thread back through where we came and then down through the bead that we've just added so that we are back in position ready to continue on so pick up one more bead we're going to see the threads coming out this side so we go in so that our thread is almost creating like a little circle around the bead just there through that little loop pull that nice and tight and then you'll see it's sort of sitting a bit beside if we pull it there we go nice and beside and then through that bead once more focus just isn't quite working for me today through that little bead pull that nice and tight and there we go so now we're creating that sort of central core of his body I'll move in a bit closer I'll have to work closer to the mat so that it will keep the focus I'll pick up one more white bead go through that little one just there again pull that nice and tight and then down pull 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 nice and firm there we go and we're just creating our little row so if I just show it to you just here there we go I'm working along up his body like this just here um, morning to Sheesh, by the way. She's just joined us. Good morning to you. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, so there's those, there's that central core of his body that we're making until we get to his head. So I'll just sort of power through and start adding these little beads in along with our little pattern. So um, I'll just count one more time how many we need to do. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six little beads, but his core of his body. Um, Let's just see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 I need to do. Um, so let's just 6, 7, pick that one up, go through there and down, pull that nice and tight again, and then go up through that little bead there. Um, Val Goodman, this is the first time I've seen you and I'm so glad I have. I'm loving the demo slash tutorial. Um, thanks Val. Uh, I really, really appreciate that it's your, your first time and that you've joined us and that you're enjoying it. Um, if you're like Val and it's your very first time watching, by the way, please jump up. There's a little link there in the description, which if you click on that little link um, about subscribing for more tutorials and designs and things like that if you click that link one you'll get a five pound pattern voucher to use on our website which i guess you could use even if you wanted to if you've never used it before to get our little um halloween pattern bundle because that's a five pound pattern you can get that for free if you if you sign up for uh, our mailing list to our newsletter um but otherwise uh yeah the uh, the if you're on YouTube for example um, just in the the bottom corner over wait a minute over that side if there's a little button all the way right right down in the corner a little red button that says subscribe if you click that um, you can join the, the the speed spider little YouTube family it's a, it's a it's a fast growing family which makes me very very happy um, there's almost 18,500 people on there now. Uh, so yeah, if you if you click that little button, you can be one of them too. Uh, so let's do our next little bead now. I've got to make sure I keep my tension nice and firm. And then we'll sort of just continue along until we get to the end of this little row. Whoops. Back down again. Whoops. Trying to keep my fingers out the way so that you can see what I'm doing but yeah as we continue along we want to try and keep a nice firm tension um, there we go there we are and we just continue along it doesn't matter if it's a little bit loose on this first row because we will tighten it properly a bit later on just got to make sure that we don't make any mistakes with how many beads that we're doing because that's the the main place you might make issues so 
There we go. How many have I done now? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just a few more. Make sure I'm coming out of that end bead again. So this is essentially just making a big beaded ladder at the minute. There we go. Whoops. It went flinging, flinging out of my hand. It was eager. Um, there we go. Add my 12th bead. Go through there. There we go. And back up through that bead. Again, don't worry too much if it gets a little bit loose. Um, Doris, Matthew, are you left-handed or is it the camera? It's actually me. I'm the left-handed one, but usually I flick it over into right-handed view, which I can potentially do that for you guys right now. Let me just do that. I'll pop it into right-handed view. I think I can do that relatively easily. Uh... Cancel, okay. No, that's not the button. Oh, right, yes, I remember now. Uh, here, here we go. It's a little bit more long-winded now. I've changed uh, how things are working. So it's, where are you? There we go. And I will pop it into the other hand view. Wait a minute, flip horizontal. Uh, there, now let's put it into right-handed view. There we go, that should be in right-handed view now. I'll just pop myself back up in the corner. There we go. Um, there, so now it's in right-handed view, I think. Is that in right-handed view? No, wait. Oh, it's only on the one, how strange. Don't know what's going on. Uh, let's just try this. Eh, how weird, all right. Well, I'll have to pop myself out of the corner for right-handed view at the minute. Um, wait, I can fix that in a second. Oh, of course. Silly me. Um, come on now. Sorry, sorry about the delay. I'm just trying to figure this all out now that I've changed a few things around. Here we go. There, great. Now it's in right-handed view. Uh, so let's just continue along there and let's just, now that I'm pretending I'm right-handed, go through that little top bead just there, continue along, a few more. Um, there we go. Because I know most of you are right-handed out there in the in the big wide world. It's just me and a few other lefties. Uh, but, you know, let's... There we go. Continue on, and now it should be in right-handed view. There we go. So where am I up to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The good news is, by the way, I'm not going to have to go through the whole process of making Tony. I do have some little bits so that I can jump ahead, but I want to show you the, the beginning basics of him at least uh, to get started because it is kind of important, I guess, that you, you're sort of learning the techniques as we go along rather than just jumping through, but we don't want it to be too slow either. Um, let's see. Let's just... Pick up through there, through that next bead. Pull that nice and tight. There we go. And down through there, there we go. That's nice and tight. So how many beads have I got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Time to add the little mouth part of his face. And then I've got to do three more between sort of where the bridge of his nose is. So again, we'll just create that little ladder. Keep going a little bit further along. Pop that up there. Go through that black bead. Once more, I'll try and keep my tension nice and tight. If I, I like to hold my thread between these two fingers because then that keeps my tension really, really firm when I'm working on, uh, there we go. Um, Val Goodman says, it's so unusual to see someone working left-handed. She says she's a left-hander too. Well, I feel your pain living in a left-handed, uh, being a lefty in a right-handed world, you know. Um, usually I do flip between them relatively 
often, but uh, I'll have to do a little bit less frequently today, I think, because it's a bit slightly different. Uh, but next time I do a stream, which is coming on Friday, by the way, uh, I will be doing another video this coming Friday. This one's our little extra bonus Wednesday one. But yeah, I've got another one coming on Friday, uh, but that one I'll have things a lot more better prepared, I think. I was... Uh, doing some learning and having to come to grips with it, but I'm, I'm sort of getting there now. I know what's going on. So that shouldn't hopefully be a problem for our next stream. So I'll just go through that. And this will complete Tony's little head just here. So there we go. There's his pretty much his, his spine. There we go. That's that's our little skeleton friend, Tony's spine. Um, so I need to have a sip of tea, of course. Hmm. And let's take a look now at little pattern of Tony, what he looks like. Here he is. So I've done my first row and I'm pretty much up where the green arrow is on the right. So if you have a little where that little green arrow is on the right, I need to reduce the row and add the, the sort of the top of his head and his first little eyeball, which is that little black bee bead. So because um, if you if you have a little look just here, because it works sort of back and forth, there's this little piece just here. So I've gone up his little body. And now, as I said, I need to reduce. So I'm gonna go across here and then start working all the way back down his body till I get towards sort of the base of his hip. So let's start with that now. The way that we reduce a row, which I'm pretty sure I've got my instruction nice and big for you to see as well. Um, so essentially the way that we do that is, oh, that's strange, it reset. Uh, there we go. <coughs> so there's my little instruction just there. That one will, um, what I'm gonna do next is, uh, I do need to do that. Okay, whoops, sorry. Press the wrong button. Uh, there we go. So what I'm going to be doing with this is going up, adding... Oh, that's uh, adding a row. Oh, oh well. Um, I'll have to show you how to reduce. Oh, well. I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll see if I can find that diagram in a second. But anyway, essentially what we do, we need to pick up two beads. All of these diagrams, by the way, are in our little um, how to increase, how to decrease, all of that sort of information is in the little pattern book that you get included as part of this, this whole big bundle that you'll get. So you'll get all the patterns, you'll get how to do your brick stitch, reducing rows, extending rows, how to make little gaps in your pattern. Um, like for example, where Ho Tony's little hips are. See how there's a big gap there? It's gonna show you how to do that, all sorts of things are in there as well. Um, <coughs> so what I'm gonna do to reduce the row, see how this little bead, it's coming out of this one here. Essentially, I need it to sit, if we have a look at his little head, just below. So I'm adding this bead here and this bead here. So I'm going sort of down one and I need to add these two beads here. So I'll pick up a white bead, followed by a black bead, and then we're going to reduce a row. The reason I reduce rows this way is so that you don't see your thread on the outside of the edge. So often when you're sort of learning brick stitch, they show you ways that you end up with these bridges of thread around the outside edge of your, your little seed beads, but this way you don't. So if you keep your thread nice and firm, where we wanna add our two beads, because we're decreasing the row, we're not gonna go under the first thread bridge, we're gonna go under the second thread bridge just here. So if we go under that little thread bridge just here, because that's how brick stitch works, essentially you're going under thread bridges, not Jeff bridges, thread bridges, and then that will sort of work almost, because it's called brick stitch, like where the mortar in your mortar and uh, bricks and mortar is. So when you pull that tight, you see, it starts to sit on top of where your other beads are. Because it's not quite in position yet, we're underneath this thread bridge just here, which if I zoom in a bit more, hopefully we can see that, get it nice and uh, close. You can see I'm underneath that thread bridge, so we need to go back up through that little black bead again. Pull that nice and tight. 
and then I've got my finger on it, pulling, pulling all the way, and then that will sort of create the startings of our little piece. To make sure it's nice and tight, see how this is a little bit wonky? We're going to go through that bead again, underneath the two, and then back up our black bead, and that will sort of lock that white bead nice and neatly into place. I'll try and not move too much, try not to get in the way, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, Eliza says, thank you so much for the tutorial from Michigan. Uh, so Eliza's from Michigan. Thanks for, for joining, Eliza. Is this your first time, by the way? Um, oh, this is a fun little comment that's just popped up. I'm Hopefully I can show that on the screen in just a second. Um, that one's just popped over on YouTube. Where am I? I've lost myself all of a sudden. Um, hopefully I can show that one in a second. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do now is go back up through, so I've gone down that white bead, back up through the black bead, just here. Come on now. Ugh, hold it. There we go. I was trying to do it on the table. It's difficult. So there we go. Up through that black bead again. And pull that nice and firm. And then as we do that, there we go, it starts to sit much, much neater in position now. So everything should be, whoops, there we go, sitting much, much neater as we sort of continue along. Once we've got everything nice and tight thread-wise, there we go. Perfection. So that's starting to sit there. You can see this is a little bit loose. It's about to get much, much tighter. So I'll pick up my little thread there. Um, and pick up my next little white bead just here uh, because obviously it's his little head we're doing so I need to continue now down his head I've got to do whoops I'm very very zoomed in forgot about that two white beads followed by a black then white black white black all like that um, we've had a great little comment that's coming in from Paula um, let's see if I can show that one in just a second hopefully it should come up uh, where she's given a suggestion on how we can remember to know what beads are coming up. She said that, um, I don't know why it hasn't come up yet, why I can't quite show it. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, pop that on the screen, shall we? Um, did I do the right one? Here's a little tip that helps me with brick stitch. I pre-count the next row and place them in order above the work so it's less time counting. Thanks for the videos. Uh, but yeah, that's a great little tip. I should have done that uh, in advance. That would have made my life much, much easier. But that's a great little tip there from Paula uh, on how to continue along much, much quicker. Um, so uh, we, let's just zoom out a teeny weeny touch more. I've got my white bead now, so I'll just pick that one up. And I'm going to go underneath that next little thread bridge. So there it is there. Between the, the white and black beads. So I'll go underneath that little thread bridge. There we go, keep that nice and central. And then pull it tight. The bead will sit fairly neatly on top, if I can get it to roll flatter. There we go. And then we go back up through that little white bead to make sure that it's locked in place. And this will also tighten our little thread below. So just go, oops, there we go, up, back up through that bead that we just added, don't pierce, oh sorry, don't pierce the thread, I'm a little bit too zoomed in. Um, there we go. And then you can see that brings those little beads much, much neater and cleaner, closer together. So now uh, I need to add on another white bead. I'll put it down on the table, the focus is giving me all sorts of grief today, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, so let's go under that little next thread bridge. Pull that nice and tight and then back up the bead that we've just been going through. So through there, pull it nice and tight. There we go. Now we pick up a black bead, go under the next little thread bridge again. Pull that nice and tight once more. There we go. 
and then you can see it really does start to come together really really quickly that's pretty much the top of his head that we've created <coughs> and now let's add his little shoulder which is a white bead and once you've done that first row you can really thunder across really quickly and get your beads happening but you can see as we're doing this it's bringing the entirety of our work underneath much tighter much cleaner much firmer so now another black bead uh, there we go under the thread bridge back up through there pull it nice and tight and there you go you can see it's sort of coming together really really quickly as we as we continue along um, and then I'll show you I'll go a little bit further so that we get into how to add uh, how to add a gap in our in our work because essentially that's um, oh no that's not what we're doing in this row we're doing that a bit later uh, but yes let's just continue along this row should be fairly quick so pick up a white bead oh am I back in left-handed view maybe I am can't tell no I'm not and then don't want to lose my thread back up that white bead again that I just added hold it nice and tight and then pull nice and firm there we go see it's all coming together really really quickly um, add another black bead Go back up that black bead again, once more, hold it nice and tight, if we can, there we go, and then he's sort of really starting to come together isn't he, so let's go another white bead, so this one essentially if we take a quick look is adding, we're adding his, his little ribs, so you can see it's pretty much exactly the same as our little Tony just here, so we've added, there's his eye, then two, then a black, a white, a black, a white, and we just continue along uh, a little bit more. Uh, so one more, uh, two more whites, one more black. So go under there. I should have, as I should, I should take that little uh, tip and and line up my beads in advance, so I know exactly. Just like uh, uh, we Paula said just earlier. Um, here we go. Oops, I got caught on. Make sure you don't catch your tail thread in there. Pull that nice and tight. One more black one. Back up that black bead. One more white one. I think. Down there. Oh, I'm just out of screen. Sorry about that just noticed real quickly um, and I can't see the Facebook comments I just realized let's pop those back up on the screen um, where are those Facebook comments uh, Rissa Renee good morning thanks for joining I uh, haven't seen you in a little while a little while um, there we go now I'll just add a couple more black beads because I do want to show you how to do this little gap section because that's sort of the most difficult part almost of how to make this little fella. He is very, very easy. You just sort of brick stitch along. Um, so now I need to do my four little black beads. One. Under the thread bridge once more. Uh, I'll just go back up that black bead again and then you can see it does really really bring it all together really quickly uh, quite uh, and nice and neat and firm and everything as well um, Kay says I'm glad I'm not the only one who has beads all over the place well I am definitely a big messy mucky pup when it comes to the bead work I my, my bead mat is always a big fat mess whenever I'm working uh, it ends up a, 
all over the place. I've got beads here, I've got findings there, my needle, my thread. You wouldn't believe how many times I've stabbed myself with a needle that I'm not even working with. It happens all the time. By the way, guys, um, as always, um, don't forget, if you want to be featured on the show, uh, send us your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk so that I can get you on and you can join uh, in on all the fun that we do at the very, very end where we show everybody's um, designs off and, and everything like that. Um, and also, if you missed it last week as well, I did um, a tutorial. Wait, let's get this out of the way. I did a tutorial on how to... We're, we're going Halloween theme this, this week. Uh, I showed you how to do our sparkly spider, but um, that was last last Friday, um, which here's a picture. Shall I show you? Um, there we go. There's there's our little spider. Which uh, sorry, there's the, the 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 tutorial that I did last Friday. Um, there's the little spider there. Uh, which is also in green. There's the gold version too. Uh, but yeah, the green was the one I demonstrated with, which he looks really fantastic. And then of course you've got that gold one. Um, <coughs> Sheesh asks, does it matter which direction you go under the thread bridge? Well, not really. As long as you sort of are making sure that you keep your thread bridge. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll just untangle myself a bit here. I've got my tail thread a bit caught, and then I'll show you um, one little little tip about that, actually. So I'll get it nice and zoomed in. My tail keeps getting... There we go. It's inside that loop. There we go. Pull that nice and firm. So the thing about doing the tail thread, uh, it doesn't matter which, if you go through the front or the back, as long as it's sort of like... Here, ready? I've got to add on my white beads anyway. So I'll pick up on a white bead. If you go through from the front to the back, so just like this, I'll just zoom in a bit more. Whoops, let's get a little bit closer. Closer I get, the harder it is to keep it in screen. So if I go under my thread bridge this way, when I pull that through, I need to make sure, wait a second, pull that through, that when I'm coming back up, I'm coming from the opposite, so the same sort of side. So see how I'm coming in from the back? My thread goes there. I want to make sure that I'm entering this bead from that side that I'm coming out of the thread bridge. So make sure you don't go and pierce that little thread bridge or anything. But then this way, because my, my thread is coming out this way, I want to make sure I'm coming in from this side to the underside of my little thread bridge there. So as I pull that tight, it means that nothing gets all twisted. It sort of stays where it's meant to be. So if I'm coming in from the back, which I'll do that in just a second, um, let's make sure I've got everything straightened out. There we go. So I'll come in from the back this time. So I'll go under the thread bridge. I know it's not quite sitting straight. There we go. Let's pull that. Let's get my tension a bit better on the bottom here. There we go. So now if I wanted to come in through the back, you can do that. You just go through that little thread bridge from the back, like this. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, my thread's come off the needle. Of course it has. Uh, the good thing about the Spidalon thread, if I can do this even on screen, doesn't want to, helps if you go through the eye of the needle. Uh, the good thing about the Spidalon thread, if you see it, never frays. See that? How good's that stuff? Um, Pop through there. Come on now. Colleen Cruz says the spiders are adorable. They're adorable. I love them too. Uh, so, yes. If I'm coming from the back, if you go under that thread bridge from the back, when you go through, 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 making sure you've actually got your thread on the needle, because I'm coming from, my thread's now coming from this side, it's much easier if you come from this side to go back up your bead. There we go. Um, so, uh, Kaylee has just asked a good question as well. So how can I make sure, wait a second, did I just get myself a bit twisted? No, I haven't. Very good. Um, Kaylee says, when I'm working, wait, let's just zoom out so we can actually see what I'm doing. When I'm working with a long piece of beading thread, how can I make sure it doesn't get twisted? So the first thing, um, 
the first thing to do is one, use a good quality thread. If you've got a, a sort of a rougher texture thread, you don't have so much of an issue when it comes to your your threads sort of staying nicely where they're, where they're meant to be. Um, <coughs> it helps keep attention if you've got a good quality thread. So very, very important is a good quality thread. If you don't have the the best thread in the world though just get some some beading wax and wax your thread as you as you go to use it just just a bit of wax that will will make it a, a little bit easier um there we go um and do you know there's a bit of a conversation that's been going on uh in in youtube talking about these tiny tiny little beads let's just pop it up uh a great little idea here anastasia uh, oh, it has, it does show it all good, good, good. Uh, it says, now, now you ladies are talking, uh, are saying how small the beads are. I have a light with an extra arm on it so that I can see the small things with a little magnifying glass. Those are very, very useful. Um, Charlotte also is telling me, have a sip of tea. That's a great idea. I sound a little bit, a little bit hoarse. Maybe I shouldn't talk too much like this. I'll make it worse. Kaylee says, my three, my favorite thread is wildlife, which I'm sure you actually mean um, not fireline, wildfire, is that what it's called? I can't remember. Uh, but that one I'm sure is just a typo. Uh, but that one still knots and tangles. Well, if that happens, have a go with uh, our, our Spidalon thread, because if you, if you get the bundle, by the way, it does include um, some Spidalon thread in there as well. So I'll just show you... Um, uh, where's where's little Tony's pattern? Here we go. <coughs> so now I'm back at the beginning. I'm just got to add those two little beads on the top in white. So I'll reduce and then I'll show you how to do the gap. And then I'm going to jump far, far ahead up to just adding his limbs because it doesn't change too much after that. So let's add now his two little white beads, which is the base of his hip. There's the little hip just there. It's these two little beads that I need to add. So see those two just there? What I'll do again, because I'm reducing the row, is skip the first, ooh, completely out of focus. I don't know what's going on. Um, there we go. So I'll skip the first little row there into the second one as well. Wait a second, can't see my YouTube comments. Here we go. Um, Oh yeah, so, um, oh, here's a great one. Uh, I'm gonna show this one. My, my dad has put a comment up. I'll just pop that on the screen. Thanks to Wayne Wiley, Colleen Rowe, Debbie Fetter, Martine Lyon and Victoria Wheeler for sending in your pictures. I, uh, I, he's preparing them all so that I can show them a little bit later on the stream. So um, don't worry if you've sent your pictures in or if you haven't sent your pictures in, send them in now. The, the, the email is live at beadspider.co.uk and then I can show your pictures at the end as well. Just like that little comment there um, that m m Andrew, my dad, who's, who's clearly watching and paying attention, he's preparing them. So I've picked up my two white beads. I'm going to skip that first thread bridge and go through that second thread bridge. By the way, um, if you aren't too well versed with um, brick stitch, definitely take a look at if you're getting the bundle, you will get my complete guide to brick stitch pattern just because it's a very, very good quality little um, instruction set that I've I've tried to put together to show you how to do absolutely everything when it comes to doing your brick stitch. So it just makes the whole process a lot easier. By the way, I'm I'm sort of weaving back because I'm reducing the row. I don't want this little fella to to sit a bit like out of position. So I go back through that and then through that first bead once more, pull that nice and tight. Make sure I don't get myself tangled with my tail thread, which I was about to. Yeah, little tail, tail, tail thread. Come on now. Get my needle in there. There we go. Look at that tail thread. Nearly got caught in my thread. Pull him out. There we go. Pull that nice and firm. A little bit confused. What have I done? There we go. Pull that nice and firm. And now that's sort of the base of his little hip there. I know this bead looks a bit twisted. I'll fix that in a second. But yeah, there's the little base of his hip. And I'm going to show you now how to skip bits 
so that you can get to the next part of his little body. So, um, I'm going to <coughs> essentially weave back down and then come across so that I'm coming out of this little piece just here. Uh, so the way to do that, because I want to come out of this, I've finished with this little section here. I'm going to pop down just here. And there we go. Pull that nice and tight. And what I'll do is go down now into this little row. Um, there we go. Down into this little row, into the bead below that we're sort of already going through. This is going to also help to lock everything in place when our thread's nice and tight. Again, keep that tail thread out the way. Pull it all the way. And now what I can do here is just sort of weave along through his little body, there, 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 until I'm in position, ready to add that one. Um, here we go. This is a great one. Anastasia. I'm a beginner, so this is... So this, so what's the best stitch to start learning first? Well, if you haven't done, um, I'll just leave that up on the screen a bit longer. If you haven't done Peyote, that's a nice easy stitch as well, which that's what our little pen wraps are made from. If you if you're getting our free, um, if you're getting our kit, you will get the the instructions on how to do Peyote as well. But brick stitch is a nice easy one. Square stitch is another easy one, which is K. Um, but yeah, even count Peyote I think is probably the easiest. Um, hi to Rosa, by the way, from Buffalo. She's uh, she's just joined us as well. So hi Rosa, thanks for joining in. So I'm going to weave along now so that. Essentially, I need to start adding my next bead at this gap just here. There's a couple of ways that you can do it. So I'll just weave along until we're in position. But we'll sort of let the beadwork dictate the technique that we use. So weave up there, weave down this next one, and we just sort of weave along our work. If I can keep that flat so that we can see what I'm doing. Go into this next bead and then just continue along Go back up, the next bead. Here we go. And now remember how I said I want my bead to be in this gap. We're not quite at that point yet. So this this might, you might go, what's going on? What's going on here? Um, I'm going to go down this bead beside. And now you know how I said I want to go in this gap? I'm going to go up this bead, just here, and then the great thing is you can literally just pretend that you're increasing the size of your row at this point. So essentially if I pick up one white bead, and which is going to be the first of his little ribby pieces, and then a black bead which is the gap between his ribs, and then what I'll do is essentially as though... Um, I'm going to add on a little little bit just there, so as though I'm extending the row. Uh, also, we've got people um, leaving, so thanks Purple Penny who was, who was here earlier. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you're missing this tutorial, you can always watch it. Um, and then as, oh, and Rosa, if you're still watching new from Buffalo, we've had people over on Facebook saying welcome and greetings to you. Hi, Rosa. I'm from, is that Winnipeg, maybe? I don't know, WNY, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, um, greetings to other Americans in the show. Where's everybody from, by the way? Let me know where you're from. So uh, I'm gonna do it as though I was extending the row. So I picked up two beads and I'm gonna go underneath this first little thread bridge, just here. So see that? I'm underneath the first thread bridge because then that's gonna create an overlap so that when I pull it tight, this bead is going to sit to the left, uh, to, to, well, I guess because I flipped it to the right, and this black bead is going to sit in the second position. So as I pull that down, if I go black, back up my black bead here, just there, see that? Back up the black bead. When I pull that tight, that will, uh, there we go, sit very neatly, exactly in that gap where we wanted it, so just here, 
in this little gap just here. There's that white bead in the gap. And now we're in position in the back as well. Um, Kaylee says she's in the UK. We've got Lee in Chicago. Um, Jan is in Polgate, center of the universe. Um, Kay is Western New York. So lots and lots of people from all over the world. Um, let's continue on now. Now that you've seen how to fill those gaps, I'm going to jump ahead. I've got my little piece. You sort of get that gist. And now let's start adding Tony's little limbs, shall we? Where's my thread? Here we go. So here's Tony's little body. Anybody, Tony body. Uh, and I'm going to add on Tony's little leg first, I think. So let's just undo, get myself my little thread. Again, <coughs> here is uh, Tony's little body with essentially exactly the same, wait, let's turn him over, as my pattern. He's, I haven't quite finished off his face, but I'm going to add on his little leg there. So there's his little head there and all of that. Uh, so there's my little Tony that I've been making. And there's his little core pretty much made. So I've got my little tail thread in position here to start adding on to his little leg. So the best spot to put his leg, I know I'm coming out currently with my tail thread uh, from the, the, the tip there, but that's not quite the best spot. He doesn't quite sit right. His legs will look a bit too sprayed if they're coming out from those little edges. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to thread my needle. There we go. And I'm going to weave around so that I'm coming out of this little bead over here, so that it's coming out either this bead or this bead. So the easiest way to do that is to just weave across. So I'll start with his other leg first, I think. So bring that up. And we just need to weave ourselves into position. so that we're coming out in the middle of his little hip there. So through there. So through the next bead. Let's see if I can keep it nice and flat for you to see. Through that bead. Who's in the most interesting place? I know we've got lots of... Um, there we go. Uh, lots of different people from the US and in the UK. Anyone from anywhere really, really strange and interesting? I know Ruti was watching earlier uh, from Jerusalem. Sometimes we get people who are in Africa. I think we had a lady in Ghana one time, or a few times actually, she's a bit of a regular. Um, right, so now I've just got to get my thread into position just through this last one here. There we go. And whoops, I nearly went through the wrong bead. Ha ha ha, that would have been silly. So that I'm coming out in the middle of his hip. See that? That's where I want to be coming out. Jermaine, I'm in the lounge room. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. I tell you, clearly we're all just comedians in this family. Just not very good jokes. Um, so, I'm coming out from the middle of his hip now. And now what I need to do is add the first of his legs. So essentially, that's a little tassel piece. So if you have a look, here's his little leg just here. And then we add a little pico to give him a bit of a foot. So I'll just count out exactly, I'll show you exactly how many little beads I need to add. So in his foot, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 little beads in his leg. And then three more, so 17, 18, 19, to create his foot. So let's just pick those up all at once. 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you guys think of being able to show the comments, by the way? Oh, we've got someone in Finland. Tina, I've seen you on here before. Uh, you're not new, but uh, very exotic, Finland. Um, uh, how many do I've done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 little beads. There we go. So I've got my 19 beads just here. So there you can see I've sort of started his little leg off. <coughs> um, 
Colleen Cruz, not strange, but I live near a town that has an inactive volcano full of water that we use as our drinking water. It's also a crazy deep blue color. Funnily enough, it's called Blue Lake. Would you believe? So that's Colleen Rowe, uh, Colleen Cruz, sorry. Um, interesting, fantastic. Uh, love, love to know. What's the name of that place, uh, Colleen, where you are? Um, she's just commented that over on YouTube. So now that I've got that just here, to create his little leg foot bit, I'll skip those three beads and I'm going to go back up all of these beads that I added just earlier. So one, two, three, all through all of those beads once more. Try not to miss any. Obviously, slide them down through those last few. There we go. And then as I pull the, all the way through, if I hold his little foot, if you hold the bottom of his foot, you'll find that it sort of keeps a nice little tension to pull his leg nice and tight into his body. There we go. So there you go. There's his first little leg. If you keep it relatively loose, it works a little bit better, but just to make sure it sits nicely underneath his little hip just there, instead of going back into that bead in the same way, I'm going to go into it from the other side. So when I started the leg, it was coming out of here. When I finish it, I'm going to go through the opposite side without trying to stab myself in the hand. There we go. So now my thread, I'm going through that. And then when you pull that tight-ish, you don't want it too tight. When you pull that tight, it will just pop nice and neatly underneath that little bead. And there you go, his leg perfectly in position. Um, look at that, beautiful, perfectly in position. Now I can just weave across. So I'm coming out of this bead on this side. I'm gonna weave across just up into the next bead there, like so. And then we do the exact same thing again for Tony's second leg. So into here, just flip him over so they can work a bit easier. There we go. Through this little bead here. Can you see that? Through that next bead. And now out the other side of his hip. And that will bring us in position to add his next little leg, like that. So then your little skeletony, once you've added all your legs and things, will look like this little fella just here. So there you go. <coughs> There's a little skeletony. You can just, again, include it in your, your big bundle. If you're getting our big bundle with all the patterns, don't forget you will get 26 little patterns with that one. So skeletony is included. But yeah, you also get some jump rings and things. But I've just added a teeny weeny little jump ring. Let's see if I can show you that on the camera. Is it going to focus for me? There you go. So see that there? I've just added a little jump ring. They're nice and fine. They'll go straight through his head and you can attach to him that way. Um, but let's make... I'm going to sort of jump ahead now. And I'm going to use Frank over here. Scary little Frank. And I'm going to turn him into a little necklace. There's a couple of ways that you can do that. Similar to how I've done Leo the little monster, you can just attach a jump ring to the top, a couple of jump rings, and then make a little bead ball chain, which we give you the ball chain as well. The ball chain is included. I will show you. Um, the ball chain, if you want to add that, uh, you do get that included, but I'm going to show you how we could make this as a little pendant, the same way that I've done my little vampire fangs. Again, this is another pattern that's included. So see how it's got a little attach point here and a little attach point there? That's quite fun. And I'm going to do the same with my little friend. My little friend. Here's my little friend. Uh, I'm going to do that with Frank's head as well. So the way that we will do that, <coughs> first, We've got to get ourselves a couple of jump rings, which again, you will get those. Here's the little findings bundle that you get, actually. Let's zoom out a bit. 
Um, here is the little fundings bundle that you get as part of your pack. You get all the Delica beads, so green, white, red. Here, this is how many you get, by the way. See, look, you get lots and lots of beads. There's all the red you get, all the orange you get. Same amount again in black. You get a yellow. You've got white. And, of course, you've got that lovely sort of spooky slime green that I've used in the pen. Um, which, don't forget, you get the pen as well, and you get all three patterns for our pen wraps. So you get one pen and, and three pen wraps if you get the bundle, which um, if I show it to you, this is always the best way, is showing you on the website. Um, here we go. Website screen shot. Here we go. So if you come to our homepage, here is the uh, where we're working. The video, if you click on this, uh, that will take you to the video we're watching today. But if you want to get the products, the link is up in the description. So if you're on Facebook, uh, it'll be above. And if you're on YouTube, it's below. But otherwise, just here, the Halloween charm related products. Click that. Here is the bundle with everything. So it's 30% off. And you also get um, a free gift, which is the pen and the three patterns. But then uh, you've got all those delicas and everything. We do have the patterns. If you just want to get the patterns, um, that's just uh, five pounds. But that's all you get, just the patterns. We do also have the pens if you want to get the pen. Um, the complete guide to brick stitch is here. But all of this is included inside of this. So if you're getting this, you don't need to get any of these three items. We've got some spider on thread colors in nice Halloween-y colors there. We've got some... Um, some green, orange, yellow, red, silver beads there if you want. There's greys, there's black, or almost black. Um, the ball chain and the ball chain findings as well. All of that is here on this page, but definitely... Whoops, what did I just press? Wrong button. Um, definitely, if you scroll back up, check this little fella out just here. This is where you get the big savings. You get a big discount, 30% off, including all those Delica beads. So, I mean, even just for the Delicas, getting 30% off is worthwhile. But yeah, you've got all those beads, all those findings, all those patterns, plus the thread and a needle and your free gift with the pen and the patterns as well. So all of that is very, very much worthwhile. Um, but you can access that, again, as I said, from that Bead Spider homepage. Um, but yeah, don't forget, there are there are brooches as well. Um, <coughs> sorry, I, I keep coughing. I've got a very, very dry throat today, it seems. Um, let's just pop my... Uh, Colleen Cruz. So there, there, there's a couple of different ways. Um, Colleen says it's really pretty. She loves it. Um, but yeah, let's... Oh, sorry, I've got the wrong screen up. Uh, there. She, Kay asks, is there a way to make it a pin? Well, there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. Much like how I've done our spooky pumpkin, you can use the brooch and then sort of pin that to things. Otherwise, um, like we've had some other people commenting, uh, you can just glue it on as well. This is stitched. Oh, Robin asks, link please. Uh, I'll ask someone to copy that link into Facebook, but otherwise it is there in the description of this video. Um, uh, here we go. And Doris, Matthew, there are a thousand Delica beads in five grams. So plenty of beads. Well, yes, you're getting 30 grams of beads. So you've got 5,700 to 6,000 beads um, in there as well. So uh, let's pop that little thing away. And let's start adding to Frank's head. Now I'm going to show you our ball chain. This is a fantastic little product that you get included. The first thing I'm going to do is sort of prepare my ball chain. You just sort of measure it to the size that you want. So you can see just here, it's made up of all of these teeny weeny little metal balls. It's made from brass, so it's extremely strong. Like, you would really, really struggle if you pull as hard as you can. You can see how red my fingers are going, pulling as hard as I can. Look how red my finger is going from doing that. It is really, really strong because it's brass based. So it's an extremely strong material, so it's not gonna break or anything. But the way that you use it 
it's got these super neat clean little findings this is going to be handy when i can zoom all the way in wait till you see how nice i can zoom in now and it stays 1080p isn't it beautiful oh i can't move too much so um hopefully that will get back into focus there we go i need some pliers which i have them here so what i'm going to do i'm going to use Wait, I'll put it into right-handed view for you guys. I know, I know. There we go. Let's do it so it looks like I'm right-handed again. Um, where are we? Here we go. So, I've got my... Gee, I've got it so close. I'm, if I move just a centimeter, it's, it's uh, you know, out of shot. So, I've got this little finding, which if I show you, I'll sort of explain how this thing works. If... Um, if I just show you up here on the screen. So essentially it's like two little cups side by side like this. And what we're going to do is place the ball of our chain into the cup. Uh, I think we've been, I think you've put the wrong link there, Jermaine. Uh, I think she's after, wait a minute. Uh, Yes, I think Jermaine's put the wrong link. Doesn't matter. Put the right one, Jermaine. Put the right link in. So anyway, um, the little ball goes into that last cup. And then because you've got two cups, they just fold over like this around that ball because it fits perfectly inside. You're about to see. And then you've got two little loops at the top that allow you to add your jump rings. So if we have a look just here, there's your two little cups. I should almost use my needle for pointing. That's how zoomed in I am. Cup one and cup two like this, and then you can see there's also those two loops at the top. So put this on the table, work with it on the table. It's so much easier to work with on the table. You take that little ball, you just drop it in position. Because it's exactly the same size as the cups, they just don't fit. They're called side calots. Sheesh calls them clam shells. It's an uh, equally as valid name. But uh, side calots, they're called. These ones are two millimeter, so very, very small. So now all you, that you do is, with it sitting in position, because the ball and the cup are they're about the same size, it fits really easily. You just bring in your pliers. Again, because it's on the table, it's not moving. And so even if you've got like a shaky hand, I'm a bit shaky. Um, you can just bring that in very, very gently and with your pliers, give it a real soft, gentle squeeze, just like that there. Squeeze the little tip as well. And now, just zoom out a bit. Don't need to be nearly as close as that. You can see there's, okay, I'll come back in briefly. There you go. You can see there's a lovely big hole for my jump ring. So let's come back out again. And I'm going to use my little jump rings here and I'm going to attach them to the top of Frank's head. So if I get my pliers again, let's zoom out because you don't need to, you want to see how I'm doing this. I'll pick up my little piece just here. So there's my little jump ring. Let's get a little closer. Get this out of the way so that we can sort of see what I'm doing. Hopefully it'll focus. Come on now, focus. Keeps trying to focus on the on the texture of the bead mat. So I'm gonna just open up my little jump ring there, like so, and thread it onto the corner of Frank's little head. Because they're quite fine, it should just fit nicely. You can see how shaky my hands are. Should just fit ever so nicely into that little bead there. Come on now. There we go. And then we take our side calotte, thread that on too. And then close that up perfectly. How did that look, guys? Was that nice and clear? There we go. And now that will attach one side, come on now, of Frank's head straight to the piece. Now that I've figured out, if I figure out exactly the size of ball chain that I want to use, so you can see exactly what I'm doing, figure out the size of the necklace that you want it to be, which uh, if we have a look at our little vampire mouth one, which I think this is such a cool little design. Um, if we make our piece about the same size as this. 
So I'll just measure them so that they're about the same because it's always good to have two that are about the same. And then what we're going to do, this is where it needs to come to. We just get our little cutters and I'll zoom in so that you can see round about here somewhere. And just with a standard pair of cutters, you just in between two balls, cut them between the balls. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, you know, I'll try and be less naughty. Can't help myself though. But yeah, so there you go. You've got that little piece just there. I'm going to make a second one exactly the same. So I'll just measure them side by side. One beside the other, because you want them pretty much exactly the same. There we go. And now I'll just cut this piece as well. So that I have two that I know that are the same size, like that. And then I'll add my little side culottes in exactly the same way. Oh no, sorry, uh, on two, yes. I'll attach his other head, the other side of his head, in exactly the same way. <coughs> and then what we do, we use one of these teeny weeny little fellas. They're super clean, super, you can use your, your side culottes if you want to add a jump a lobster, but these are actually really really clean and easy to use you've probably seen them before in like standard little jewelry but essentially it comes in a three meter length of chain and then you just join these little pieces together so the way that you do that this bit can be a little bit more fiddly so you've just got to play with them a little at the beginning because they're nice and firm so that you can actually get them used but what i like to do is start by just getting my fingernail into the little little piece just there see that because my ball is going to sit nicely inside there so if you just use your finger you'll give yourself just the tiny little bit of space to try and get that to to fit in it takes a little bit of fiddling to get it to work but then essentially it works in the same way that if you just oops sorry try and keep out of the light there here we go if you just Pop that inside there so that it's like this and then if you just push it in oops like I said this one's the fiddliest part essentially once you've done it the first time it works much much better but when these are brand new they're they're they're, they're sort of a bit stiffer so it can be a little fiddly at first be warned but once you've done it the first time it's much much easier come on now need to just get my thumb there and then you can push it in so it will just click you just got to sort of stretch it I didn't there we go and now oh sorry I just realized I was out of shot but then there you go you can see that's nice and firm and that will sort of lock your little pieces together so that it will work as your little clasp see that and then that is super strong it's relying on the strength of that bra brass uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is a funny comment. Uh, I thought I was being naughty. We've got Shazianne here. Whoops, I just opened, popped that one away. She said, Frank got the snip. Poor Frank got the snip. Uh, but essentially, oh, it's just been hidden again. Wait, there we go. Wait a minute. There we go. It keeps disappearing. Poor Frank got the snip. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, and I thought I was naughty. And then Jan here's joined into the fun. Poor Frank, uh, you know. But yeah, so Frank, who's now had the snip between the balls, uh, you've just got to attach the other side of his head exactly the same way. So there's, oh, I'll just hide that little comment there from Jan and Shazianne, who are, you know, finding poor, feeling sad. For, for poor Frank there. But yeah, we'll just attach the second side exactly the same way. Otherwise, if you want, you can do earrings, which, let's zoom out, just there. There's our little witch. She's another fun little charm. But yeah, you've got inside your little pattern pack, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my fun swipe. I love using this. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, inside your pattern pack, you will get Four, there's little pumpkins, there's um, there's some little monsters in there. Um, here, this this little fella, he's a fun monster. I've, I've, I've stuffed up his teeth, but I've, I've got I've fixed them in the in the pattern. Um, but yeah, this this fun little monster, he's fun as well. You get that. 
Um, you also get the vampires, there's a couple of ghosts, there's the skeletoni, we've got... <coughs> to be honest, I've, I've kind of kept the best ones a secret because I really want the, 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 the secret and surprise to come for people when they bought the pattern pack, once you can finally get it. Um, I really want people to go, oh wow, I wasn't expecting such a fantastic little design. So I've made a few fun ones, but there's some really, really good ones in that pattern pack that you'll get just um, that you'll sort of see afterwards. Uh, maybe the best ones we're saving till last. But yeah, all of those pattern packs comes for just five pounds. Otherwise, um, definitely save yourself 30%. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to save 30%? Because then you get 30 grams of Delica beads, which is a bargain already. Um, we will be sending the pattern pack after. It's not quite ready yet, but we will be getting it ready very, very soon. So even if you buy it now, we're going to email it to everyone afterwards, after the show. Um, but yeah, there's lots and lots of really, really fun patterns that we've made. Um, don't forget that if you are buying the bundle, there's lots of pumpkins and things as well. Uh, you will also get the, the pen and our little um, pen patterns included. There's spiders, pumpkins, and then this one is my favorite, the slime, the goopy slime. Um, there you will get that, plus the pen. Don't forget you get the pen too. Um, now, Robin asks, how fast is shipping to the US of A? It's, it's good. It's getting back to normal now. It's taking about... So I think the fastest we've seen is uh, just over a week. So you'll have plenty of time. This, uh, but so usually they're, they're sort of back on track. They say it's less than two weeks. And we found that now things are sort of coming back to normal. They are sort of taking about that sort of time. So um, it should arrive perfectly in time for you to make things for um, for Halloween. That's why we did the tutorial a little early so it'll arrive to you. Um, the Robin, is the 30% added on to the checkout automatically? Um, I, I don't know what you mean exactly. So all of our prices, they're in British pounds. Uh, so they're not in US dollars. So everything that you buy, it will be uh, in British pounds pounds of course so when it says five pounds that's probably about six dollars or so um <coughs> uh but yeah the uh the the 30 percent off if i just show you on the the website it is already off uh so that you don't have to worry about that the the, the discount is automatic so that was a question there on Facebook. I can't remember who it was because I've just hidden it. But yeah, if you get that, you can see just here. Oh, whoops, wrong button. So there's the tutorial. If you want to watch this later, you can you can watch that um, a bit later. I thought I put it up. Oh, maybe I haven't. Yes, I have. Good, good, good. So you can watch this video whenever you want. But otherwise, just here is the um, the the product category. So if you go to that product category. I'm doing it for you right now. You can see usually it's uh, 35 pounds down to 24.95. So it's pretty much a 10 pound saving, more than 10 pounds saving, which is essentially 30% off. Uh, big, big savings that you get for that one. And it includes all of those things. So that's, that's that 30% I was talking about, but that offer is only for one week. Um, that will be ending probably in about a week's time or so. So if you're going to get that one, don't miss out. I've just got to make sure I've got everybody's pictures ready because as always, I do like to show everyone's photos. See this? So if you want to be on the show, um, I'm going to be back on Friday. Unfortunately, I forgot to show you the demo pieces, um, but we're doing our Crystal Kitty Cats. Um, that's coming on Friday because again, it's sort of that Halloween theme. We're trying to do it all right at the beginning. Um, oh, I've got a I've got a fun comment here to show you guys in a second, uh, just before I get on with these these pictures to show that everybody sent. But Jan Alston has sent us a, a great little comment. I'm looking forward to showing that one in a second. Um, let's see. Here we go. Let's add all of these pictures in. We've had some come in, which is great. Um, Colleen Cruz has sent a couple, uh, and here we go as well, Victi uh, Victoria Wheeler. Uh, there we go. So, um, first things first, I'm going to just show you 
that comment that's come in from Jan Alston. Here we go. Look at that. Um, fangs for another fantastic tutorial, Matthew. Can't wait to get the kit. Uh, thanks for that one, uh, Jan. That's a that's a great little comment there. I uh, I really appreciate that one. Thanks for for popping that one in. That one's really funny. Um, great comment there from Jan. Um, so let's have a look at the pictures that we've been sent. Uh, there, Colleen Rowe just sold this one at an event. She's made uh, that sort of inspired by our Ruth Bader Ginsburg tutorial that we did a couple of weeks ago um, now, which you can watch that on our YouTube channel or on the Bead Spider, um, <coughs> our, our video tutorial as well. Um, that one is uh, available there, but that looks great there. Colleen Rowe has made that one and she's already sold it. She sold it in an event. Um, let's hope I can show the next picture. Is it going to show it? Come on now. There we go. Wayne Wiley from Pflugerville in Texas. He sent us a couple of great pictures as well. Uh, am I missing a picture? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, here we go. Wayne Wiley from Pflugerville. I decided that my wife has enough bracelets and opted to use all of the... Wait a minute. I need to make it a bit bigger so I can read it. I've put it a bit small on my screen today and I can't quite see it. Uh, wait, I want to read it. Here we go. Uh, I also, yes, so I've used all the starbursts to make a necklace. That's fantastic. That's our starburst necklace design there. And he has turned that into uh, our starburst bracelet. He's turned it into a necklace. That looks fantastic. So great job there from Wayne. That looks amazing. I love it. Plus, you know what? I love your little um, stand there that's sort of in the vein of those Japanese Shinto shrine uh, wooden things. They, that, that looks fantastic. Wayne has also sent us a picture. His first and probably last attempt at doing micro macrame. Um, looks great there, Wayne. I really, really love that little design that you've made there. But clearly he's had a bit of a time with it if he's saying that uh, that's going to be his first and last uh, micro macrame attempt. Um, Debbie Feta, she made our scarf ring. Uh, my little scarf ring that I did on a tutorial uh, about 10 days ago or so. Uh, Debbie Feta has sent us that picture there. She's got herself a little 20 mil cabochon, I think, instead of a Rivoli. And she followed my tutorial part one and part two. And she's made that gorgeous little scarf ring. So great job there to Debbie Fetta. Uh, Colleen Cruz, she's been busy as well making little beaded spiders. Some of the spiders I made for a market stall fundraiser last year. They were a huge hit. Clearly all of your customers had caught the bug. Um, great job there, Colleen. That looks fantastic as well. Plus, she's made this fantastic bracelet um, I made last week in square stitch with smaller beads over the top for embellishment. I really enjoyed making it. That looks fantastic, Colleen. Um, gorgeous little bracelet that you've made there. Uh, looks fantastic. Um, I really, really like that one. So great job there to Colleen for both of those, um, those little spiders and that bracelet there too. Um, plus I got to remember who sent me this picture. I can find out just here. I foolishly, uh, didn't find the name. It was Victoria, I believe. Wait a second. So this picture came from da, 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 Victoria Wheeler. So thank you, Victoria, for sending us that picture. She made my sparkly spider with the Aurora Microcrystals. She said she'd made that one in the past, uh, but managed to um, send us that picture. But that was the spider, the sparkly, sparkly spider that I did with the Aurora Microcrystals um, last Friday. So that's everybody's pictures. Um, don't forget, of course, to get the patterns, get the massive bundle because you get a huge saving. So I'll just run through real quick one last time. I'm sure you've heard it, but just in case you've only dipped in and haven't um, seen it before. Uh, actually, do you know, before I do that, uh, we've got some great comments. Kaylee Honor over here says, wow, everyone is so talented. If you want to show off your work, I'll just show it real quick. Send us your pictures live at beadspider.co.uk and I can show your picture on Friday when I do um, 
this little uh, kitty cat tutorial as well. Um, lots of people getting involved with their comments as well, which is really, really fantastic. I appreciate that so much. Um, but yeah, everyone, so for example, even just here, Janel KTab again, I've showed one of your comments. Uh, that's another lovely one. She said, everyone's work is amazing. Very talented viewers. Um, oh, apparently there's more pictures. There's more pictures. I'll have to see if I can find some more. I'll see if they're there. Uh, where are these pictures hiding? There's more, apparently. I missed out. There's even more that have come through. I'll see if I can find them very, very quickly. Oh, Martine Lyon. Must have missed that one. Uh, where have I put that one? Here we go. And just pop that one on the screen. Martine Lyon's picture. <coughs> she made our Florentine necklace. Wow, that looks fantastic there, Martine. Gorgeous. I've got her picture up on the screen there. Don't worry, Martine, you didn't miss out. I just got you on. Uh, the Florentine necklace kit, she's made that one. That's the one on the right. And she had a go at the scarf ring. Had a little bit of trouble with the assembly, but it came out okay, I think. That looks great, Martine. I know the, um, the, the, the beadwork can be a little bit difficult, but you know, these things happen. Uh, it can it can be a little difficult to put together, but you, you look like you've done a great job on it there, Martine. So again, thank you for sending in that picture. I'm glad I saw the comment there saying, wait, 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 there's more pictures. Um, so yes, uh, as I was saying, I'll run through very, very quickly what's in it. Um, you will get your, if you get our big bundle, you've got the, the black, um, <coughs> the black Delica beads, you've got white Delica beads, you've got red ones, you've got orange, you've got yellow, you've got green Delica beads, all of those different colors. I'm, I'm having to read it over here. There's so much stuff. Um, you've got five pairs of ear wires, uh, five pairs of earrings as well. So you can make five pairs of earrings. You've got four brooches. You've got three meters of that ball chain. You've got six of the ball clasps as well. You've got um, quite a few of those little side collots. You've got three mil jump rings as well. Um, we've got 26 Halloween themed patterns that you'll get. So witches, pumpkins, skeletons, Frankensteins. There's even a, a really fun thriller, Michael Jackson thriller style Frankenstein as well in there that I've, that I've made for you guys. Uh, you get our complete guide to brick stitch instruction booklet. So if you liked my little um, diagrams, like this little fella just here, this is an example of, wait, one of my diagrams. If you like my diagrams like that, the, the little booklet that you get includes all of them, all the, the entire little step-by-step um, -step guide for our instructions. Uh, the complete guide to brick stitch shows you all of that stuff. There's, it, it, like, like the name suggests, complete guide, complete guide. Um, plus you get the instructions for the findings for all of your different findings that you get as well um, You get 20 meters of your spidal on bead weaving thread We give you a size 11 beading needle and then don't forget you also get the bonus G2 pen. Oh, I've just been told I've just been reminded I should finish off with my little Halloween hat of course my my witch's hat. I would cackle for you, but you know I don't even know if I should do that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to cackle. Um, you'll get your pen included, which these pens, we've chosen these G2 pens because they're so great for changing your designs. Uh, see, there you go. Just pop that off and you can swap your little beaded pattern and pop on your next one. Where's my next one? Here it is. There we go. Take your next pattern. So you get the pattern, the pen included. Plus you get three little battens, or maybe even four, I'm not sure. I can't remember how many were in there, but you get the uh, pen wrap patterns, Halloween pen wrap patterns included as well. So all of that is included. Uh, do you like my hat, by the way? Um, Dad saw it in a charity shop for one pound, one pound only for that gorgeous little hat. So all of that is in there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget much, um, we're, we're always doing tutorials. So please like the video, subscribe the video. Lots of you have been subscribing, which is fantastic news, which I really, really appreciate. I know I only had the YouTube comments this week. I'm hopefully, 
hopefully we'll see what happens i'm hopefully going to be able to have the facebook comments available for you all next week as well but um yeah we will see the oh um there's also a live bead fair that we're going to be taking part in which is coming the um this weekend on saturday so you can even have a chat with me if you want to we're doing a live bead fair which we'll put the link up in the in in the comments both on facebook and on youtube we're going to be doing a live a virtual live bead fair so um the 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 link to find that so that you can register so that you can be visit us at our stall that we're going to do our little virtual stall uh if you want to we'll put the link in the description so that you can join in and and visit us plus whatever other um exhibitors there are that uh that's this weekend's little fun thing it's coming on saturday so you can pre-register for that uh but it's a live virtual free uh bead fair that you can join to um but yes i've lost my train of thought now jermaine came in and whispered sweet nothings into my ear uh but yes the um crystal kitty cats they're coming on friday so i'll see you for the crystal kitty cats on friday don't forget to get your 30 percent off and your free gift by buying that little bundle it's all very very much worth it um at the minute so thank you all for watching i as always really really appreciate um you subscribing that you liking doing all of those things um that's all sorts of good stuff that uh, that that really warms my heart that there's a nice um community that we're building be uh with with us here at this little matthew's beaded corner i suppose um teaching you guys because you you all say that you really appreciate these tutorials and I'm, and I'm glad that you're enjoying them and so many of you are subscribing um it's called the bead affair bead affair <coughs> but yeah i'll find the link for it and i'll pop it in the description later uh that's this saturday which there's going to be lots of exhibitors and it's going on from uh quite a few hours but all the information it'll be on the link um but yes crystal kitty cat is coming on friday um and then yeah there's there's lots coming up over the next few my head is getting warm wearing this this hat i'm gonna have to take it off i'm getting a, a hot head um but yeah, lots and lots of people um, who have joined in. They're starting to say goodbye, so thank you. Um, the, the, we've got uh, over on Facebook, Seema um, will be uh, Seema saying thank you. We've got Justine says thank you. Monica as well, thank you. Um, thanks to all of you. Over on YouTube, we still have... Um, where am I? We've got Kay here, Jan Alston as well. Um, I don't think you've put the right link, have you? Maybe you have. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the, the bead fair, I'm not really sure what will be in it. It's kind of going to be like going to, because because it's impossible to go to any of the, cra the bead fairs at the moment, it's essentially um, like going to a craft fair, if you, if you ever go to the craft fairs. Uh, but entirely virtual. So we're going to be doing, uh, you know, we're going to be sort of demonstrating some of our products, sort of the, the the fun and interesting things that we have. There'll be lots of other people as well. Um, Helena says, thanks so much. My first Tony is done. She's already finished her Tony. Helena, if you're watching still, send us a picture. I want to see your Tony um, for, for, for Friday. <coughs> Sorry, I keep coughing. I've clearly got a very dry throat and I'm going to have a nice cup of tea in a minute um but yeah so thank you all very very much for watching uh i will see you on friday lovely tutorial matthew will definitely order this kit says doris um but yeah shazian brilliant we'll miss friday but we'll be here saturday thank you for the tutorial stay safe um thanks very much shazian for that one and k also says goodbye to everyone i'm hopefully gonna have the facebook comments able to pop them up on the on the screen just here for the next stream we'll see we'll see hopefully um but yeah the uh the link i will try and pin it i, I can see it's already disappearing off into the distance uh with all those facebook comments but yeah the um the friday tutorial if you're like shazian and you won't be able to catch me on friday 
It will be available on the Bead Spider website as it always is. It'll be on YouTube and it'll be on Facebook. The um, the Bead Affair will be something a bit different though. Uh, that won't be on our YouTube or Facebook. It's a bit different. It'll just be on that sort of virtual event. But we'll, we'll, we'll sort of send you the link to it on Friday. Uh, on Saturday, sorry. Uh, but yes, uh, yeah, Booth Central, Booth Central. Uh, we need to use the link from Booth Central. I think Jermaine's put the wrong link one. She's put the 10times.com one. It's the wrong one. Booth Central. I'll find that link. Uh, hopefully we can find that one, but I'll put it in the comments. Anyway, anyway, enough of that. I'm going to go have my tea, enjoy my day. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, have a lovely day. And um, thank you for watching. I will see you all on Friday. Ooh. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.